think there was a mistake in the typing of this question. Uh, I think there should have been a division symbol here where H is in the denominator, which is why they have the condition H does not equal zero. And just so you know, this expression F of A plus H minus F of A all divided by H is called a difference quotient. And we're going to see why it's called that in just a little bit. Uh, to find F of A plus H, we're just putting the expression A plus H in wherever there's an X in the function definition. So I'll finish this up here. Uh, squaring this binomial gives us A squared plus 2AH plus H squared, distributing the minus 4 gives us that, distributing the 2 gives us this. Let's see if there's any similar terms to combine. It doesn't look like it. So I'm going to subtract this expression, f of a, from this, and then divide it all by h. So let's pretend we're substituting into this formula up here. I've got 2a squared plus 4ah plus 2h squared minus 4a, minus 4h, plus 3. And then I'm going to subtract this expression, which means I'll have to change every sign if I want to remove the parentheses. So minus 2a squared plus 4a, minus 3, all over h. And now let's see what happens. Uh, I can see that the 2a squareds combine to zero. I can see that the, this is an a right here, the minus 4a and the plus 4a combine to zero, the 3 and the minus 3 combine to zero. So I'm left with 4ah plus 2h squared all over h. But in the numerator, I can factor out an H. And cancel out the H's. So your final answer is 4A plus 2H. Uh, now let's quickly go to Desmos and see what actually this is intending to represent. Here on Desmos, I've graphed the original function in red. I've let a equal 1.2. And so there's the point 1.2, f of 1.2. And I've let h be this real small change uh, that I'm adding onto a. So that moves me out to the right along the x-axis. And I've plotted the point a plus h, f of a plus h. Well, if I find the value of f of a plus h minus f of a over h, what I've really done is found the slope of this secant line, this blue line. And here I've actually graphed the line using point slope, uh, saying it's going through the point 1.2, 1 1.08. So y minus f of a equals the slope, which I calculated on this previous line, times the quantity x minus a. And if I move this point towards the starting point, A, what you're going to see is that this secant line gets closer and closer to the slope of what we call that tangent line, where H is zero. Notice that the, uh, the line disappears because M is undefined. And this is one of the things that calculus is all about. How do you find the slope of the tangent line at, to this curve at 1.2? The tangent line looks sort of like that, but it's a little off. Uh, and I could, it, I could uh, actually find the slope of that tangent line 
using calculus. And back here, you're going to find out that the slope of that tangent line is actually the limit of this difference quotient as h approaches 0. And that's going to be what we call the derivative of the original function. Uh, it gives us the slope of the tangent line at the point A, F of A. Okay, I'm going to stop the recording because I haven't gone over five minutes.